title, The Epic Genesis, Unveiling the Grand Symphony of Creation. In the beginning, when all was but an expanse of emptiness, a canvas of darkness and the deep waters whispered secrets yet untold, God stood ready to unfurl a masterpiece beyond imagination. From the depths of the void, a spirit moved gracefully upon the waters, as if orchestrating the first notes of a symphony that would echo through eternity. And then, with a voice that resonated through the cosmos, God spoke, Let there be light. And there was light, radiant, vibrant, and breathtaking. Darkness receded like curtains parting on a grand stage, revealing a scene that held promises of wonders yet to come. As God looked upon the light, he saw that it was good, and he marked the separation of day and night, a dance that would forever grace the heavens. With the first day's curtain drawn, God's creative brushstroke continued. Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, he declared, and with a flourish, the sky stretched out in all its majesty, a canvas painted with azure blues and adorned with clouds that would tell tales of mystery and majesty. The second day concluded and the Creator's hands remained poised, ready to mold and shape the earth's story. Let the waters gather, and let dry land appear, God commanded. And lo, the seas surged together, unveiling continents and islands, the foundation of a new narrative. As dawn broke on the third day, God's voice danced through the air again. Let the earth bring forth life. With that proclamation, the world erupted in colors, as grass sprang forth and trees and plants reached for the sky. The earth hummed with the joy of creation, and God saw that it was good. The fourth day saw the Creator crafting celestial luminaries. Let there be lights in the sky, he spoke, and stars adorned the heavens. The sun and moon took their places as guardians of day and night, beacons to guide the way through life's journey. On the fifth day, the canvas teemed with life anew. Let the waters teem with living creatures, God commanded. And from the depths of the seas arose creatures of unimaginable beauty, the majestic whales and playful dolphins, each a testament to the Creator's artistry. And then came the sixth day, a crescendo of creation. God's voice thundered across the cosmos. Let us make human kinged in our image. With divine hands, humanity took shape, a reflection of God's own likeness. And as Adam and Eve stood tall in the garden, God blessed them, bestowing upon them dominion over the earth, the sacred duty to care for its wonders. As the sixth day drew to a close, a hushed awe settled over the world. God surveyed his creation, and behold, it was very good. A masterpiece woven together with purpose, beauty, and love. And so, the first chapter of the grand epic of existence came to an end, leaving us with a dazzling tapestry of creation, a story that resonates through time. The universe still echoes with the whispers of that cosmic proclamation, let there be. And in those words we find the heartbeat of a creator who crafted us, the earth, and the universe itself, with a masterful touch that reverberates through eternity.